Today we're talking everything sunscreen and I'm sharing my four go-to favorites. That's coming up next. Welcome back, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skin care, and style for the over 50 woman. Today we're talking everything sunscreen and is anyone else besides me a little confused about the alphabet soup that's on the front of our sunscreen these days? We're going to go into all of that and I'm going to be sharing my four favorite go-to sunscreens as well as the one that I'm going to be trying next. If you're new here, a very special welcome to you. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. Oh my gosh, sunscreens. I almost feel like I need a PhD in order to read the labels these days. The good news is today I'll be breaking down what all those different designations mean and sharing my four favorites with you as well as the one that I'm looking to try next. As usual, all the products I talk about today will be listed and linked below and they'll also be over on the blog so they'll be easy for you to find. And with that, let's get into it. If sunscreens get any more complicated, we're going to need assistance in the drugstore in order to buy them. So let's break down what those designations mean on the front of sunscreens. First of all, when you see broad spectrum on the front of your sunscreen bottle, what that means is that it provides UVA and UVB protection. And I have a super easy way for you to remember which of those UVs do what to your skin. UVA is an aging ray. So it's going to age your skin. So just think UVA aging. UVB is going to burn your skin. So that's super easy to figure out. So now we know what UVA, UVB mean. And when it says broad spectrum, it's going to protect you from both those different types of rays. Why do we want protection from these guys? Well, UV rays cause 90% of premature aging to our skin. 90%. That's a big number. One of the good reasons that I should have been wearing sunscreen since about the time I was born. Did I do it? Absolutely not. <laughs> the next thing we want to get into, and pay attention because this is going to be on the test, is SPF. Now exactly what does SPF mean? It means the sun protection factor. So we'll see designations that say 30 SPF, 50 SPF. That's the sun protection factor that particular sunscreen is going to provide. That tells you how much UVB or burning rays that sunscreen is going to protect you from. For instance, an SPF 15 is going to filter out 93% of those rays. An SPF 30 is going to filter out 97%. So you can see the wisdom of getting a little higher SPF or sun protection factor in your sunscreen. A good rule of thumb for your face, particularly if you like me a little over 50, is an SPF of 30 at least. Another thing that you'll want to know when you're looking at sunscreens is that there really is no such thing as a waterproof sunscreen. Because if there were, we'd all be covered with sunscreen because it would never come off. Actually, the FDA doesn't even allow that designation anymore. The most that a sunscreen product can claim is to be water resistant. Some sunscreens will say they're water resistant up to 80 minutes. So that's what you want to look for if you're going to be in and out of the water a lot and not reapplying your sunscreen. Which brings us to the next question, when do we want to reapply our sunscreen? I'm so glad you asked. You'll want to reapply your sunscreen about every two hours when you get out of the water and you have dried off or or you're hot and sweaty and you've kind of sweated away some of the sunscreen protection, that's when you want to slather on another coat. We found out what broad spectrum means. We know what UVA is. That's the rays that are going to age you. We know what UVB rays are. Those are the rays that are going to burn you. We found out that SPF means sun protection factor when we want for our faces at least 30 or more. And we've also found out that broad spectrum means it's going to protect us from both UVA and UVB. Now, what's the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreens? And when you hear the word mineral, it means the same thing as physical. So it's chemical versus mineral slash physical sunscreens. What's the difference? A chemical sunscreen is actually going to absorb the sun's rays. That's how it works. Common chemical sunscreen ingredients are oxybenzone and avabenzone. A lot of people can't tolerate chemical sunscreen 
sunscreens because they can be a little irritating to the skin. If that is you, you'll really want to focus on a mineral or physical sunscreen. Why they call it a physical sunscreen is because those ingredients actually deflect the sun. It actually keeps the sun from penetrating into your skin. The two ingredients in physical sunscreen are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And those are the ones that remember when we were in high school and the lifeguard always had that white stuff on his nose? that's that stuff. Okay, so now we've covered the broad spectrum, we've covered the SPF, we've covered the mineral and physical sunscreens. We know the difference now. Now what's with that PA++ stuff? As if it wasn't confusing enough, right? The PA++ actually originated in Japan. And here's a little fun fact. There's only five countries that designate sunscreen effectiveness. That's the UK, the US, Germany, Japan, and Australia. I get it. If I'm Belgium, I'm thinking, you know, rock on with your bad selves, you guys. I'll be here with the chocolate. Let me know what you find out. The PA++ is a designation from Japan, and it stands for Persistent Pigment Darkening. And what that means is, will your skin get darker if you sit in front of this stuff? usually UV rays. The PA and the pluses designates how long you can sit in front of that darkening agent, the UV rays, before you'll start getting some type of darkening on your skin. Theoretically, a rating of let's say 10 PA would mean that you could withstand 10 times the amount of exposure with the sunscreen than without, but it actually doesn't pan out that way. There's not a direct correlation between exposure and how much your skin's going to darken. They pretty much just grouped everything into different designations. And they've settled on the following. A PA plus means that you're going to get some protection from the sun. PA plus plus means you're going to receive moderate protection from the sun. PA plus 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 that's three pluses that used to be the highest and it designates that this is the best protection that you can get but of course someone had to go further because there's always the overachievers in the bunch and they now have PA plus 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 that's four pluses and that's the ninja version of sunscreen so what does this all add up to the higher the number the better the sun protection and if you don't even want to get into this just wear a hat but of course we can all wear hats over our entire body all the time so sunscreen is what we do. What I'm going to break down for you next are the sunscreens that I use in my beauty routine and the ones that I find handy and helpful. They all do a little something different and I like them for different reasons. Let's go ahead and hop into what are my four favorites and the one exciting one I'm going to be trying next. One of my favorite sunscreens is this Australian Gold Mineral Botanical 50 sunscreen. And you might have seen this. It's a very, very popular sunscreen. This is always in my arsenal, not because I wear it on my face a lot, because I simply don't. For me, this is a fairly thick sunscreen. It also has a tint. You can see it right here. This is a thicker sunscreen, and I love this for a couple of things. The first thing is for actually putting it on the backs of my hands. When I'm done with my skincare in the morning, I'll put a squirt on the back of both hands and just rub it together. And I've got nice sun protection on the back of my hands. Plus I have a nice tint because sometimes <laughs> I have dark spots or cat scratches that I want to cover up. So this kind of gives my hands a nice little tint that makes the coloring look more even and provides me with sun protection. This is an all mineral sunscreen and it's really perfect for medium to fair skin tones. I think if you have a darker skin tone, this is probably going to be too light for you and it would end up looking like you had a white cast on your skin. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 with titanium dioxide 4% and zinc oxide 4%. So it's a very powerful sunscreen. It's fragrance free and it's water resistant. Not only do I enjoy using this on the back of my hands, but this is the sunscreen that I pull out if I'm not going to be doing any makeup for the day because it has that nice tint to it and it's fairly heavy. So I'm getting a nice coating on my skin that evens out my skin tone, provides me with a good SPF and provides a little bit of moisture. So definitely this is one of my favorite sunscreens. I always have it in my arsenal and it comes in so dang handy. The next sunscreen that I absolutely love is the SunPrize Mild Airy Formula Sunscreen. And this is one of those alphabet soup sunscreens and you can see it on the front of the bottle. It says SPF 50, P50, 
PA++++. And instead of being confused by that, we all know what that means now, right? This is an all mineral sunscreen, plus it has over 20 nourishing ingredients for your skin. It's a very light formula. It's not heavy, it's not greasy, and it really doesn't leave behind a white cast. Not only does it have great sunscreen ingredients, but it also has aloe vera, acai berry, sunflower seed oil, and more. I truly enjoy this sunscreen for a number of reasons, and I always have a bottle going in my bathroom. It's super affordable. This 1.85 ounce bottle is only $9. I really appreciate the fact that it's light, non-oily, non-greasy. It goes on well. It plays great under makeup. It doesn't pill up. and It's very, very inexpensive. So the Sun Prize sunscreen, this is one of those Korean brands, and you can tell because it's got that 50 plus 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 on it, and it's such a great bargain and a dandy little sunscreen to boot. The next sunscreen I want to talk about is the Make Prem sunscreen. This is another Korean sunscreen. It's an SPF 50 and a PA plus 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 so that's four pluses which means this is the ninja sunscreen this retails for $32 on yes style and it's a whopping 6.7 ounces it does have a few things that may not work for you it is a chemical sunscreen it does have alcohol in it and it does have a fragrance this hasn't really bothered me and to be honest with you up until just recently this was my favorite sunscreen it plays really well under makeup it's not heavy it's light it's non-greasy plus it has niacinamide hyaluronic acid and chia seed extract so i really enjoy this sunscreen unfortunately this one is empty if you're looking for a fabulous everyday sunscreen to wear under makeup that's affordable because at 32 dollars for six ounces that really does pencil out to be a very affordable sunscreen. This is a great choice. The next up is actually my current favorite sunscreen. This is the Dermatology SPF 45 sunscreen. <laughs> fallen in love with this formula. This is a combination of chemical and physical sunscreen. It contains 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octanoxate. It is a wonderful formula. It goes on so nicely. It's not greasy. There's zero white cast. And the thing that I love about this particular sunscreen that I am unable to say about the rest of the sunscreens I've talked about is it absolutely has no drying factor on my skin. It feels like skincare when I put it on and it doesn't make my skin drier as the day goes on. The base of this sunscreen is derived from knotweed extract, which also prevents damage from infrared radiation. That sounds kind of scary, doesn't it? Other than the fact that it goes on like a dream, it doesn't pill up, it feels like skincare. It also includes some wonderful ingredients for my skin. It contains niacinamide, which is one of my favorite skincare ingredients, and sodium hyaluronate. This little formula packs a powerhouse punt. It is a fabulous sunscreen, and I've fallen in love with it. It comes in a two ounce bottle and it retails for $21. So it's not actually the most affordable sunscreen, but in my mind, it's the best. Fortunately, <laughs> I was able to contact Dermatology and they've given me a discount code for you guys. I'll list that down below. If you use the code PRETTY20 when you purchase off their website, you're going to get 20% off. So that makes this sunscreen really a bargain. The last sunscreen I want to talk about today is one I'm excited to try it next. And I haven't got it yet because, you know, Amazon is behind about a month in their deliveries for non-essential items. It's the CeraVe Hydrating Tinted Sunscreen. It is a broad spectrum SPF 30, 100% mineral sunscreen. I've heard so many good things about it. CeraVe is one of my favorite skincare companies and I use so many of their products and I'm really excited to try this new hydrating tinted sunscreen. Not only is it non-greasy and doesn't leave a white cast, this is what I'm hearing, it contains three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and again niacinamide, one of my favorite ingredients. I don't think I can get enough of that on my skin. My next purchase is going to be the CeraVe Hydrating Tinted Sunscreen and I'll definitely give you guys a review of my thoughts about that.
There we have it, the full scoop on sunscreen. We now know what all that alphabet soup means, we know what broad spectrum means, we know what SPF means, and we know we need to buy at least an SPF 30 broad spectrum water resistant formula for our mature skin. I want to thank you for joining me for this all about sunscreens, and actually there's not going to be a test, so you can relax now. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. And make it a great day. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.